American Cornhole League. What a fun sport. This is incredible. It was just here in South Florida at the Miramar Amphitheater. And I am fortunate to have the American Cornhole League Commissioner, Stacy Moore. I believe he is a Charlotte, North, North Carolina man. Am I right about that, Stacy? You got that correct. You've done your homework. Well, I'm figuring if that's the case, you got to be a Ric Flair fan. Got to be a big Ric Flair fan. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and I want to talk to you, obviously, about this great series you have leading to the championships in your home base, Rock Hill, South Carolina, in August. But down here in South Florida at the Marymount Amphitheater, you had celebrity involvement, which is part of the series, and there's a charity component as well. But for this one, since we mentioned Ric Flair, you had the great WWE superstar Charlotte Flair. What was that like having her here? What was it like bringing American Cornhole League and the Johnsonville Super Hole 4 to South Florida? It was really cool. It was awesome to get to meet Charlotte in, in person. It was my first time meeting her. I'd run into uh, Rick several times throughout the years there in Charlotte at various different places, whether it be a Hornets game, a NASCAR race, out at a bar. Um, I bumped into him several times over the years. But my first time meeting Charlotte, and she was amazing. Uh, she was a lot of fun, super cool, down to earth. Um, so it was fantastic having her. She was excited. Uh, she already said she wants to come back and do another one, so that's a good sign. Of course she does, because she's the queen, multi-time champion, history maker with WWE, and very competitive. And she went one and one She made it to the series finals and then ended up losing, but she won the first one. And I'm just curious, what do you think about her athleticism and her picking up the game of cornhole? Because there's a lot of skill involved. Yeah, to get to the top level, there's a ton of skill involved, and uh, she's still fairly new in terms of playing cornhole competitively. You know, I think she's picked up the bag recreationally mostly. Uh, so, But I think we got those competitive juices going, and maybe she's going to get out there practicing a lot, and hopefully we get to have her back next season, and, and we, see, we see a lot of improvement here year over year in her game. Now, Commissioner, here's what I'm thinking. Follow me along on this one now. So the finals, the championships – are in Rock Hill, South Carolina in August. Johnsonville is the major sponsor for this, awesome sponsor. But hear me out on this, because we've got the legend Ric Flair, Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, the great, and then his daughter, equally great, just her in her own right, Charlotte Flair. I'm thinking, Kamish, we're going to see Ric Flair do a figure four leg lock on one of these people, <laughs> and you're going to have to use Charlotte as an alternate come finals time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, quite quite possibly that 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 could be in the works. So, um, so hopefully we can put that together. Obviously, I think she'd love to play uh, back in her hometown as well. Uh, I think she I think she'd have a good time doing it. Hey, Commissioner, what is it like? You got to give me a little history background in American or Corno League. Not a long dissertation, just something. How long has this been going on? Hey, ESPN and ESPN two has been covering this. I know the event that we had down here with Charlotte Flair and the ACL professional Cornhole players, that was on ESPN2 taped. It's amazing, and this is a, a big, unique sport. Yeah, so we, uh, we've been around for, for seven years now. Uh, we started out just doing one series. We actually did a couple of events in the uh, Fort Lauderdale Convention Center. Uh, first time we've, uh, no, we, we did two back-to-back -back years there uh, before they totally uh, went through the, the retro outfit and all that at the, at the convention centers. So we had some great events there around uh, when the Super Bowl was in Miami. We, when we did Fort Lauderdale and we were on ESPN there. Um, so we've had a good run of, of six years on, on ESPN with a variety of different series. Uh, the Super Bowl series that we brought to Miramar is the, uh, the first – what I would call a full season, where we where we were doing eight prelim events plus the championships. But we did we actually did the first Super Bowl uh, at Fort Lauderdale Convention Center with Sam Darnold and Daniel Jones, and we had the Battle of New York, and that was just a one time event. But that basically started the whole Super Bowl right there, right there in Fort Lauderdale. All right, Commissioner, who came up with Super Bowl? That's awesome. I definitely came up with Super Bowl. I'm going to take 100 percent credit for that. <laughs> So the, oh. yeah, the, yeah. The whole premise was making it a one-time, really cool event with with some NFL players or legends around Super Bowl weekend, where we were having 
all of our pros. So, um, you know, normally that this past event was a little special because it was just a made for TV event, but normally we'll have, um, some type of open event where we'll have a hundred sets plus a cornhole board set up and a, a thousand cornhole players outside of what we're doing broadcast wise. And that's what we were doing in the convention center. Like I said, we did that one time event for the battle of New York and, um, and now all of a sudden it's become so popular. Like I said, we've got this great series with Johnsonville, eight events plus the championships. We did uh, four events last year plus the championships. So we've basically doubled in size year over year with this particular series. The celebrities are loving it. Our pros are loving it. And the audience is loving it. Thing about cornhole for maybe those that don't know, barbecues, picnics, tailgating, college and pro football games everybody's tossing that bean bag i'm probably saying the wrong term for it but trying to get it in the in the uplifted hole cornhole and that so you people that may not know the name they either played it or seen other people play it yeah so you know that's one of the advantages that we have is that a lot of people have picked up a bag and, and thrown it at the board uh so there's a natural familiarity with it but then seeing these people play at the highest level I mean, I'm, I'm sure you were awed by some of those shots that those pros were making uh, on that broadcast court uh, during that pro shootout event. Saw some great matches there um, between the, the, the women's singles, the men's singles, and the doubles. You know, those, those were great matches. And so I think people, when they see it on TV, they have an appreciation because they know how hard it is when they try to do it at a tailgate or something like that. They're like, how in the world do those guys make that shot? Now tell me if I'm right on this, Jeremy and was it was it Vinny from Jersey Shore? They were the champions of this, the Miramar region of the yep. Miramar prelims. So yep. here's what I'm wondering, Kamish. How come Charlotte wasn't paired with Jeremy? Come on. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know if it was Jeremy that that led the victory or if it was Vinny that led the victory. So um, you know, so we paired Charlotte up with Brett Guy. And he is a mega, mega wrestling fan. And so that was one of the reasons why we paired Charlotte up with Brett because, you know, he came out in, the, in his nature boy robe. And, uh, and so, you know, we like to pair up personalities with our pros and celebrities where we think there's a good fit. And so uh, that's why Brett Guy got the nod and not, and not Jeremy. Hey, did they have any time? Do the celebs have any time to practice? Do you even know if they practice on their own to get ready for these things? Or is it everyone's different in that regard? Yeah, and I think, um, you know, we, we sort of let everyone do their own thing. Um, we certainly provide opportunities for them to practice. Uh, the first time we had Doug Flutie uh, participate, he required to have his pro come to his house to practice prior to the broadcast. And that's one of the reasons why he was so good and he's two-time Super Bowl champion because Matt Guy went down there to his house. Not only not only did he practice and teach him how to how to play the right way, and then Doug just practiced on his own for hours and hours and hours leading into the broadcast, various broadcasts. But Matt Guy also fixed his Batmobile while he was there. <laughs> so, you know, so, so Matt Guy's had a lot of fun, you know, not only playing with Doug, but fixing his Batmobile. He gets to, gets to claim that as well. It's amazing, Commissioner, because these high-level athletes and even the celebrities that are involved, you see so many of them, they're very competitive. It, it's, yeah, they, they're, it's out there, you're gonna have fun, Fans that are watching on TV or they're live are going to have fun. But once they get into it, it's very serious and very competitive. Yeah, especially when we get down to the championships. Um, that atmosphere in Rock Hill, we've got, you know, close to close to three to 5,000 people packed in in that in a small arena there in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And the, the vibe is electric. And uh, those competitive juices get going. And uh, everyone wants to put on a show. You're in Fort Worth for this week, and you have a few more cities coming up, and then Rock Hill in August for the championships, the overall title. Will the championships, will they be on ESPN or ESPN2? Do we know that yet? So um, our, our uh, Super Bowl last year um, was the anchor for ESPN Ocho Day, the anchor event on ESPN Ocho Day, and that's the, that's the plan again, the Friday on ESPN Ocho Day will be the uh, the title event um, featured on, on on that with our Super Bowl and our celebrities. Commissioner, are you a cornhole player? I'm a very average cornhole player. I only, I only play when I have a beer in my hand. 
<laughs> hey, Chris, you don't have to, to be a coach or a commissioner. You don't have to be great at the great at that sport because look at all around the other sports and all with the commissioners and the coaches. Yeah, yeah. I think if I think if I was really, really good, I, I wouldn't be a good commissioner because I'd be one I'd be out there playing all the time and not out trying to sell sponsorships and do business deals. Hey, and what is what can we talk about money wise? What is the money like for some of these professional players that are doing this? Yeah, we've probably got about twenty five percent of our pros now that are doing cornhole full time. Um, some of them are making over over six figures and in, in sponsorship and and in prize money. Um, last year, the ACL gave out over five million dollars in total prize money to both pros and non pros through our open event series. Um, our pro prize pool is a minimum of a million dollars guaranteed uh, this year. And, uh, you know, it's split up over several different series. And then, as you mentioned, the Super Bowl, you know, we give over $100,000 to charity. Uh, you know, Deck Flutie walked away with forty grand for the Flutie Foundation um, last year. And, Commissioner, what do you want people to really know about this whole American Horn Horn Cornhole League, ACL, and the Johnsonville Super Bowl event. What do you want them to know and just get into for all this? Yeah, it's a it's a great community. It's a it's a fantastic sport to play with your friends and family. Um, and as you see with our Super Bowl event, the cool thing is is that we overlap with all kinds of sports and all kinds of celebrities, right? So like this weekend, we've got a completely different uh, celebrity lineup with with Paige Hathaway, Jackson Olsen, Kendall Tool and Christy Carlson Romano. So a lot of different types of celebrities than, than what we had there in, in Miramar just, just last weekend. I think Christy Carlson Romano, even Steven on Disney. Yes. Does that ring a bell at all, I think, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> it's so, great, yeah. it's great having all these different celebrities. All right, a couple more questions, we'll let you go here. Thank you for your time. Hey. Could we see maybe a Ric Flair out at one of these events trying his skill level for cornhole? Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely going to have to get him to, to, to throw a bag at some point in time for sure. we got to have Ric Flair. And Commissioner, have you ever been, a, were you a pro wrestling fan growing up? Have you been to any shows? I'm curious if, if anything there, connection any there. So to what? Say again? What a connection for you is growing up, if you were into pro wrestling at all as a fan or went to any shows. Yeah, yeah, I definitely went to some shows uh, when I was in in middle school and high school. I was a I was a big wrestling fan, and uh, and but I was I grew up just a big sports fan. So we've been Hornet season tickets holders. Obviously, got to be a local Panthers. Got to pull for the Panthers. Uh, so you know, I grew up loving sports and wanting to be around sports, and uh, and that's coming around full circle for me now that I get to to not only take. Uh, take cornhole to an amazing level as a professional sport but we get to overlap with all these other sports and celebrities and it's it's been really cool for for me personally and professionally are you coming back to south florida got to come back to south florida it's a great place we've got an amazing uh local group there from south florida cornhole so anyone that wants to get involved you know look up south florida cornhole get involved with david streaker down there you know you saw rosie streaker uh local won the women's singles uh, there in Miramar, so she's down there in South Florida, and uh, great to go out and interact with the pros and learn how to throw bags better. And uh, anyone out there can can play, and anyone can win, right? So just gotta get out there and practice, and and the pros will help you out. And uh, you just gotta stick to it if you want to be competitive with it. And do you have an amateur level too? Do you have tournaments for amateurs? Yeah, yeah. So we we have open events where we do events for all ages and all skill levels. So we actually power over 25,000 tournaments a year with our software. We have over 450 directors around the country that use our software to run local events and regional events. So, um, yeah, the pro division, right, we've got 250 pros out of about 250,000 players. So very small percentage of, uh, of the players that are playing in the ACL are actually pros. So... That gives you an idea of how hard it is to get up to, the, to that level. Well, Commissioner Stacy Moore, American Cornhole League and also Johnsonville Super Hole 4. Awesome. Thank you for the time. 
I know you you did your Ric Flair, you did your woo. That's great. We love that and all. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking Stacy now. Ric Flair was a noted heel. He was a bad guy as a wrestler. So I'm thinking, is Stacy more the kid cheering for Ric Flair? Or is he is he booing? Is he heckling Ric Flair? I was cheering for Ric Flair. I've always I've always been one who's cheered for Ric Flair. <laughs> Commissioner, thank you so much for the time. Thanks, Jim.